everybody, it's James, and welcome back to Corby Town. Good to see you. Glad you're here. Did you have fun in the last episode? Could you tell that I was recording late at night because I was ASMR, James? Welcome to Corby Town. Let's have a good time. But no, it's it's not as late at night, so I'm allowed to record, be a little bit louder. And uh, we only have two games we have to talk about. A last time out, just recently before the international break, was a 3-0 win against Middlesbrough, which Gillette, Groshi, and Gilbert all scored in. But then we have this. And you all said you wanted to see the the, the uh, Champions League knockout match. Absolutely fine. I'm happy to do it. But boy, did you miss out on a crazy double hat trick plus one shootout. The, the, the new, if you're a neutral, you love this game. If you're a Corbett Town fan, you love this game. But it's it's just as Lonnie to a T, right? Great games, shuts out for tons, and then he does this. So, Brownlee with a three, Gilbert with three, Gillette got one at the end. Goals galore. Uh, I want to see if I can actually watch the goals with you. Sometimes this crashes the game, sometimes it doesn't. So let's take a look here and see if we can actually watch the goals. I have saved it beforehand, so I won't lose stuff. But let's just jump right into it. So here we go. The first goal was just an absolute clusterfuck of the defense on our part. It goes to them. Oh, we are running way too fast. So we're just going to slow that down. So, can't clear our lines, ball drops then, goal. Our goal, Jebby comes in, Brownlee, cross field bar to Gilbert, lower right, left hand corner, we're loving it, we're, draw, we're, drawn, up, we're drawn even. Now, Brownlee picks it off, Gillette, hold it, plays good, finds Brum, slots through Valdison, Valdison, unshelfishly, Gilbert, bang, 2-1 up, great, we've got our lead, we're happy, we're loving it. Then, once again, try to clear our lines. Marcos goes out to James. James comes in, crosses it in. Jebby doesn't intercept it. Vinicius Jr. slots at home. We're drawing level 2-2. Two, two. Second half starts. Brownlee comes in, finds Bauman on a yellow card. Bauman drives in, crosses in. Valdison deflects it off Brownlee's face and in for a goal. And we're happy and loving it again. They look to throw it out. Header is questionable here. Brum finds Brownlee. Brownlee goes for it. Slots it in. Bang. Hat trick. Brownlee. Mm, you'll love to see it. Absolutely great. Now, all of a sudden, Fukushima's injured, getting serviced. That's just a wonder goal off of it. Br uh, Bruno Raphael. Not much happened. They could do about that. Carnival. Now on this one, finds Valdison. Valdison, beautiful ball over the top. Finds Gilbert, his third. Hat tricks galore. Or no, I think on a brace now for, Gil for Gilbert. No, Gilbert has a hat trick. The other guy doesn't. This is just a what is this Lonnie doing? He goes to clear it. He doesn't. Vinicius Jr. just tastes it. Goes empty net. Thank you very much. Everybody stands around, looks at each other like what's going on. This is Brownlee's third. So Siasco has come in at this point. Valdison's here. Finds Gillette, just a simple one-two pass. Brownlee lashes it in. 6-4 at this point, we're happy. And not to be outdone, Brum finds Carnival, finds Gillette, who just goes, okay, folks, thank you very much. Split the defense, and I'm going to score my one mandatory goal for this game. And there you go. That's what you missed. You could have had this game, but you guys wanted Benfica. So, yeah, that was crazy. Um, I guess we should also talk transfers, right? Because the transfer window happened. Uh, nobody really left of any note. We just had a lot of people just go out on loan and come back on loan. And yeah, we brought in this guy from Valladolid, who looks to be a really good player. Uh, he's sitting in the U23s right now. He's going to be a breakthrough prospect. He is a fast wonder kid. He's left-footed, but he definitely is an inside forward type of material with that Dribbling first touch, finishing. He's 18. He's got great off the ball. We're working on getting his passing and everything up. I think he can be a great player, but he's just one for the future. And he's 18, which means he'll be homegrown at club, homegrown at country if we don't let him go out anywhere. So that's what we're doing. We're keeping him here. Um, 
the other couple ones to really note were early on in it. This guy was a free from the Colombian League, a, a left winger on the right foot, and he might be better than the guy we spend money on. But he wouldn't sign a contract with Independiente. We picked him up, immediately got him and loaned him to Cardiff, where he's immediately he's doing well. Uh, right-footed winger on this side, definitely looking at having him be an inside forward. We're gonna work on the finishing a little bit, but you know the pace, acceleration. I love the twenty aggression and determination. He's resolute. It's for free? How can you say no? Then here is Matt Old, a right-footed left wing back who. Um, once again, we're just trying to. I'm just trying to think about the future here. Yes, we have Bauman. Yes, we've got Kopner and Groshi. But you know, this guy is 16, so we have time to develop him into what we want him to be. I'm really excited about him, and you know, gonna pay a lot for English talent. But he's 16. He's gonna develop 17 million pounds. We've got the money to spend, and I wasn't just gonna sit on it. The rest of these are just, I went rating kind of like lower academies and stuff just to kind of fill out the under 23 teams. This guy looks like he could be something. He could be a halfway decent Irish attacking midfielder. And um, Vinicius is a, from Rio Ave, who we kind of picked up for nothing. And he looks like he'll be a really interesting winger. So, yeah, that's that's kind of it. Um, besides from that, we've loaned out a bunch of people. Frankie Diong is going out to loan out the loan to Ajax, which I find hilarious because he wasn't getting enough play time. So I said, sure. So now we're having them pay all of his salary plus a loan fee. So the free transfer of Frankie Diong has earned us money. Ben's quit have come has come back on loan because he wasn't playing at Lyon. Only scored three goals. He immediately went to Portugal and he's played two games and played scored three goals, which I'm happy about. And then our boy Gilberto Lopez uh, has gone to Lens. Uh, they went in for him and they said, hey, we'll play him as a striker. We really want to, to have him in here. I said, you want it? Lens, you've given us Yannick Gillette. You've given us Maxime Gilbert. Yes. Yes, you can have him. I'm extremely okay with that. And he's getting first team football and he's developing, which is great. But now we go to Benfica for the first knockout round game. And to be honest, we're not surprised at the lineup, not surprised at the team. It pretty much picks itself. Those scribs can come in for him. Uh, yeah, it is it is Aslani, Bedov, Groshi, Lamont, Kopner, Carnival, Brum, Valdes, and Gilbert, Brownlee, Gillette, with Bauman, Brum, Jebi, Zaya, Oliveira, Scrivener, and Senia on the bench. Uh, some of these guys have been dealing with the flu, so that's why we have them resting. And yeah, here we are, man. You've got Yannick on 27, Gilbert on 26 goals, and Brownlee on 13. Hey, Yannick, you ain't scoring a lot of goals, but you've got Gilbert right there for you, man. We have pretty much the two best strikers in the uh, in the league, in the world. One's playing on the upside. We have like the Marcus Ratsford problem. By the way, end of this end of this episode after this match we are going to look into exactly what you guys asked uh i'm ready for him hugo valencio uh we're about to find out that guy is 31 uh oh they are playing our guy against him he doesn't get too many games well apparently lately he has been i got weston mckinney too interesting uh yeah we line up i mean we know how this goes we've been here before we are defending champs you know it's playing in the background we got lisbon that's where it is. We're in Lisbon. Rainy night in Lisbon. As, as is tradition, we demand more. Valdison balls in. Groshi right over. By the way, Groshi has 11 goals this season. Can we talk about we have a center back in double digits and goals, and he's not like Sergio Ramos and takes our penalties. He just is really good at heading the ball off of set pieces. As Gilbert is here, finds Brownlee. Nice little back heel there to bet off. He's going to take a shot. I mean, why not, man? You're in the position. It looked good. Take the shot. As, well, it's kind of calm. Kind of, We're kind of feeling things out here as we tend to do, kind of work our way into this game. We are playing the height. You know, we are playing our tempo. Kopner, 
Beautiful position here. Can really pick out the cross. Finds Brum racing in. Man, Brum has made a living off those goals. And the fact that he didn't finish that one off is kind of disappointing. But um, we have been dominating possession and dominating shots uh, right now. So it's really been a rear guard action for them at home. So Valison's going to cut in here. The shot is blocked. Lamont is going to be on this guy and does well to just muscle him off, especially on a yellow card. you got to be worried there. Kopner finds Valdi. Valdison to Carnival. Cross comes in. I mean... That is a goal. Let's watch this again. Valdison gets it. Sends it back. Carnival and Gillette just... Just kind of side foot volleys it into the top right corner. I mean, Jesus, the man is a machine, an absolute machine when it comes to scoring goals. And you love to see it. I mean, that's why we have the button. We have the button for a reason. I mean, I also have like the, which I could be using more too. But I've been trying to find a, like, a good goal call. You know, you know what I mean, like going through the history, there's been a ton of people who've called wonderful goals and I've just been trying to find the right one when I can cut off and then press in when, you know, we don't have Yannick score. But I guess that's a question for you guys. Do you like the fact that we have the Yannick Gillette button and that it plays when he scores and everybody else would just kind of walk our way through? Or should I have something more if somebody else besides Gillette scores? Speak his name and he shall score. Yannick Gillette from a ridiculous angle buries it. And we are all up 2-0. And the wrecking man, the wrecking ball that is Yannick Gillette is there. By the way, back line on yellow cards, as is tradition for Corby Town. Ah, uh, he was looking for the first half. Bet off. Uh not so much. He's going to have to run to get back there. Brum better be the one that sticks with him. Because I really don't want to have to worry about a yellow card, yellow red card here. Kandesh. I'm not even going to try that. That guy is. What? He's Georgian. It's a lot of K's. A lot of going on there. We're just gonna let that let that be. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gilbert, Brum, Kopner. Two footed tackle by Weston McKinney. Kopner, Brum, Carnival, Brum, and Gillette is the one who comes all the way back here to get it. Brownlee to Bedov, who is gonna take the shot again, and almost gets to the rebound. Uh, yeah, tell the guys to stay on their feet. They don't need to be as aggressive. Bedov will find Brownlee, Devaldison, De Gillette, who yeah, just kind of lazily gets it after the Kopner. Kopner is going to get the cross in. Everybody's there. Yannick gets an assist. Brownlee gets his 14th, and I guess we all... Oh, so Prescott stops it. Interesting. That's three. Beautiful headed deflected down for by Yannick into the path of Brownlee. It is four three nil. <laughs> These are all away goals, folks. Um, so yeah, that's nice. Um, I could be writing better commentary, but yeah, Dean Henderson, the goalie, by the way, Dean Henderson, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I there's a lot more to come for you, and I know you've got what it takes. So for you, Yannick, you're fine. Keep doing what you're doing. We love it. Fans love it. How many away fans came to this game? You guys, really coming out in numbers this one. All oh, 391. Home better be packed. All I'm saying is that the that home better be packed. Let's praise the boys. Yeah, they're all happy about that. Valdison, ball in. Groshies, header is cleared. Babu. Babo, Babado, Babadibado. Yeah, yeah, let, 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 okay. 
All right, we're fine with that. Valison gets tackled. Brum's on it now. Counterattack is on. Oh, no. Oh, how does he miss it? He beat him, too. He did every post. Except the back of the net. Carnival on a uh, on a yellow card now. Great, great, great. You love you love to see it. You love to see it. Uh did I bring it right back? Nope. Did not bring it right back. That's smart of me. Brought a left back, but the left back isn't on a yellow card. So we will make some changes in set. Weston McKenney, Groshi clears it. Thank you very much, Groshi. Collins finds it in there. Mary, Simon, oh, Azalani. It's about the easiest save you're going to make there. Uh, let's make a change or two here. I don't like the amount of yellow cards. Uh, Zia will come on. Grishy will swap out for Lamont. And are you saying I didn't bring a center back with me? Oh, that's why. I didn't, we won't put Jebby there. We won't put Jebby there. No, Zia, that, that, yeah, Lamont, fine. Um, Groshi there, perfect. Bed off. <sighs> oh, God. I don't like it. I don't like it. Fine, we'll keep it like that. The... People saw me put Zia in the box, the box, right? Like... Zia should not be. Oh my God, Zia is playing center back right now. Groshi's in the midfield. Granted, probably can do it just fine. He's a pretty good passer of the ball, a good ball winning midfielder too. Bet off. God, Groshi's just being there. Gillette, was the ref playing advantage there? Yeah, Groshi, get back and get back in center back. Zia has no business being back there. I mean, he's good. I mean, we've seen he's he's a creative force, but we don't need that at center back. Uh, Weston McKenney has gone back to right back. I guess they've taken our boy off. And things are just kind of slowing down now. And we're fine with that. Let's, uh, let's go to balanced. Let's uh, waste all the time. Let's play at an even lower tempo. You don't need to run at that defense. In transition, counter press is fine. Countering is okay. And we will just uh Yeah, that's that's fun. It's absolutely fine. Just uh protect. Protect that three goal lead. I would love Gillette to get another goal, but I mean if it's not in the cards, it's not in the cards. And uh oh boy, Brum, Gilbert, back to Brum, Kopner. Bedov, there's Brownlee, forced out wide, finds the ball, Zia, back to Brownlee, it's a melee, who gets credit? No, nah, it's going to be offside. Nope, yeah, yeah, offside. Brownlee, Gillette, Valdeson, Henderson sends it long to Kopner. I know it's Kloppner, but I like Kopner better. Ball, oh boy, looking for him. Kick out. Groshi heads clear. Weston McKenney gets it. Marie is on his horse. Kloppner is there. McKenney drives in. Good block by Valdison tracking back of all people. All right, ref. Cleared it. Good. Hoof it away. Ref. Ref. Yeah, here's the offside, I guess, because it goes in off Brownlee. There you go, folks. Well done, boys. A great win for us. Classy Gillette. Absolute class by him. Oh, you'll love to see it as I need to pull up this window over here to look at the comments. Because guess what, folks? It's time to do the thing I promised you. Bum, 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 bum. Bum 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 bada ba da 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 praise Yannick who's still only 23 years old. Valdison puts on a show. Really? Valdison? Valdi got man of the match? 
Oh, no, they're just saying they put on shows. Okay, great. So, the three players we wanted to look at was Mason Greenwood, Phil Foden, and June, Jude Bellingham. Now, you would have seen Mason Greenwood in a previous episode when we played Manchester United because he is still there. Mason Greenwood is at Manchester United. He has made 422 appearances, 190 goals, career stats, uh, just came up, obviously broke through here, and has been pretty consistent for them every single year. Got 24 goals in this season, but he has been a constant double-digit goal-scoring threat. Um, I think he leads the line for them or is on the left wing. Just a true professional. He's got to be getting up there with... Let me look at Manchester United history, competition, landmarks, records. So Bobby Charlton has the record for most league goals um, at 199. And um, yeah, Greenwood, as you can see, kind of plays as a second striker. Uh, I don't know how many league goals he Greenwood has, but I got to imagine. Well, no, these are league goals. Yeah, yeah, he's close to Bobby Charlton, Sir Bobby Charlton, so could break that record. Our boy now, Phil. Phil Foden. Let's pull him up. Is at Barcelona. Uh, he has only turned out for two clubs in his entire career. Manchester City, which he went and spent, you know, broke through, had a couple good years, then signs for free. Man City lets him go for free to Barcelona, where once again has been a just tearing up La Liga. Definitely has developed into a world-class player. The fact that he never got below a 7.4 while at Barcelona is absolutely great. Milestones, what has he done? Competitions. Um, England has like won a lot of competitions, So, but it's Spanish champions, Spanish champions, World Cup runner-up, Spanish champions, Spanish champions, Super Cup. When's the Super Cup? Community Shield. I think... I don't know if he's ever won a Premier League. I don't think he has won a Premier League at all. Yep. Never won. Nope, he has won a Premier League. So, a good, solid career, but not for a lot of money, but playing for those two teams. You think about a guy like him going for no money is absolutely insane. Now, Jude Bellingham is at Atletico Madrid. Has turned out for a couple of different teams. Obviously, most recently bought for Borussia Dortmund, where he broke into the first team and really started to ramp up his development. Uh, by his third year there, 7.8, probably a superstar in the team. You can see by the assists, and they start scoring goals for them. Gets his 87 million pound move to Manchester City. Or he immediately makes an impact. I think this is probably in response to the Phil Foden leaving. Um, you can see just great impact there. Good, solid player. Then 125 million pounds gets him sent to Atletico Madrid, where once again, he is crushing it. He has become a world superstar, and I believe he is one of the major starters for England. He's a modest citizen, and he's a legendary midfielder at 28. Jude Bellingham, only 28 still. Now, if we look at England, Mason Mount is the vice captain. Trent Alexander Arno is the captain. Jude Bellingham is considered to be the best player for the squad. We look at the national team. We look at the tactic here. Hope and Scrivener are our, boy, are our boys. Greenwood plays on the right. Ambrose, who used to play for us, plays as the deep line play, playmaker as Foden plays there. Groshi is the left back as Bayless and Plant. James and Patterson. I don't like the fact that Groshi plays left back for England. I don't like that at all. He is a center back. But you want to know what? If that's what they want to do, that's fine. I'm not one to stop them. The fact that we also have, what, one, two, three current players of ours in the England team and one, two, three, four, five players that used to be ours in the England team. 
there you are. So that's your kind of wrap up. And until next time, when we play Benfica again, I've been James. You've been you. This makes me solid sake, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.